So I was asked by one of my students to break down a triangle escape series. First and foremost, I always need to remember I have my uh, both arms inside, either two arms in or two arms out. Uh, once we start you know, moving our hand back here like this, that's when we start risking getting caught by triangle chokes. Now there's about three different uh, periods when uh, uh, you can escape the triangle. Um, you have the early, uh, midway through, and then the last resort. Now the early part is, He's taken a risk, he's punched that arm through, and he's shot to the high diamond, the high controlling point. Now, from here, it's all right. I just bring my hand to the hip line, grip the bottom part of his butt, and I start looking up to the sky. And I bring my arm back in, where I bring the other arm out. All right, so remember, two arms in, two arms out. Now, one more time, he shoots, grip, I look up. I don't need to keep my head down. If I keep my head down, that allows him to pull my head down, so I grip, Lift up and swim my arm back on the inside. Right? Now the next part, he shoots the same triangle. Now we're here more. All right? Now he starts to be able to pull me in. What I do with this arm, I pinch this arm here. All right? So I'm changing the angle. For him to do a good triangle, he's up and he's able to start coming across. So I need to pinch this side arm, the inside arm, to his thigh and I frame against his uh, bicep. All right, against his armpit. So let's try this out. Nice. So because I'm able to frame here, I take all my weight and pressure, you can lock it up, and I turn. Because I turn now, this knee can't lift up and raise his arm across the body because it's framed here. Now once I create this frame, I reach to the far side shoulder, not the near side shoulder. If I reach here, he can razor me. All right. So I have to make sure I reach across. You can grip the lapel if you choose to. And I want to make this far side knee reach to his shoulder, and I rotate my body through. Now, next little extra tip is once we create this pass, we're already in position for the uh, bread cutter choke. Okay? Let me square up. Now, the last ditch effort. He shot his triangle. Everything's locked in. My arm is across. All right? It's going to be very difficult for me to punch this arm all the way across. So instead, I'm going to take both my hands to his knee. Now it's very important that I pin his knee to the ground. Uh, it's not just me driving it down. I need to pin his knee to the ground. And I'm gonna walk my feet the opposite direction of this knee here. So I grip, I pin down, I tripod up, and I walk all the way around until I get the side control. What you don't wanna do is tripod, walk halfway until you feel the, uh, the choke is released, and then settle because if you do that, you can get caught into an uh, omoplata.